Welcome back to Caracast, the podcast from Kerasoft, the trusted government IT solutions provider. Subscribe to get the latest technology updates in the public sector. I'm Corey Baumgartner, your host from the Kerasoft production team. On behalf of SAP and Eightfold AI, we would like to welcome you to today's podcast, focused around how the search for top and retainable talent, human resources, and talent acquisition departments must consider the effects of digitalization and demographics changes to future-proof their workforce. Michael Hofer, HR Transformation Executive of SAP SuccessFactors, and Dan Hopkins, Vice President of Eightfold AI, will discuss how organizations in the public sector can hire and retain talent effectively by focusing on mobilizing the workforce, adopting emerging technologies like AI, embracing DEI and B principles, and preparing internal contributors for managerial roles. Thank you all for taking your time to join our discussion today. Just a little quick about me is, so I'm an HXM Executive Value Advisor. What does that mean? Well, in my role, I'm fortunate enough to help organizations find the answers they're thinking through and help facilitate their HR transformation journey. I bring HR expertise, transformational experience to the conversation. And and I've also been in that, you know, quote, sat in their shoes, unquote, uh, seat before. So it's really helpful in that perspective. I help organizations think through the business objective and goals they have set and assist organizations in defining the current pain points and value that change will bring. So that in essence is what I do and and I'm very fortunate enough to work with all of our existing customers and prospects. But now I'm gonna pass it really quick back over to Dan. Dan, you wanna introduce yourself just really quick? Absolutely, Mike, thanks so much. And thanks everybody for joining today. My name is Dan Hopkins. I'm the VP of Global Public Sector at Eightfold AI based out of Washington, D.C., and been with Eightfold for almost five years now. I'm really responsible for bringing Eightfold into the public sector, both government as an employer, because we all know that the government hires uh, people and has employees, and also supporting government as an enabler for employment, uh, where we do a lot of work with uh, state departments of labor, for instance, to help displaced workers find uh, more rapid reemployment. Um, So really happy to be here today and talk to you uh, specifically about the impact of AI on the workforce. Thanks, Dan. So together, just a little bit about who we are as we look at success factors in Eightfold AI, really help customers drive more effective, forward-looking talent strategies. And what I mean by that is by connecting the comprehensive foundation of the enterprise and employee data and SAP success factors with the Eightfold Talent Intelligence Platform. Organizations can find, recruit the right talent faster, accelerate employee development and growth, promote internal mobility, and drive the organizational agility needed for the future of of their business. So today I'm going to be covering at the high level some HR meta trends as researched by SAP success factors and our IO psychologists that we have, as well as how to fuel your company's growth with integrated talent, talent AI. Dan is going to cover really the the AI's impact on the workforce as we double click down into that and the responsible use of AI throughout organizations. And then we'll wrap up today's session with a with a Q&A. Let's start our conversation today with our HR meta trends. It's important to know what's going on globally so that you can apply it locally. This is the year of EX. It's no longer a trend, but a foundation or an embedded part of our H- HXM our HR meta trends, and what our customers expect to see throughout our solutions. So from a macro perspective, um, quoting our, our Dr. Stephen Hunt from uh, SAP Success Factors and, and his book on talent tectonics, this really impacted me and I wanted to share it is the digitalization and demographics and the collision of these two forces impacting at the highest levels. And, and so what does that mean? Digitalization, it's really about the speed of change. 